So, after two weeks, we finally have a new episode of World Trigger. World Trigger episode 16. It wasn't really explained why last week's episode was kind of on hold, but it's pretty obvious why, because of, you know, the entire ISIS situation. So, I'm glad to see it back. I'm really glad to see World Trigger back. It's not officially cancelled, it just went on hiatus because of the issues last week. And so, I'm happy. I'm really happy to see it back. So, this episode of World Trigger... This episode pretty much concludes the fight between Jin and everybody else, and it sets up for the future arc. For instance, at the end of this episode, we go into the, like, it looks like it's going to be World Trigger's training arc. That's pretty much what we're getting into next week. So, a training arc. I'm looking forward to that. So, pretty much with these past three episodes, it's been nothing but exposition about triggers. That's exactly what, you know, this entire fight has actually really been. It's been explaining Scorpion, Gunner, Sniper, you know, it's, it's been explaining all these different triggers, like optional trigger and stuff like that, and I'm glad World Trigger took the time to actually explain these different types of triggers to let us know the mechanics of the fights way down the future, because usually some shonens I have read, when it comes to some fighting, usually the actual fighting or some of the magic or whatever it doesn't get explained until like a hundred chapters later so i'm glad world trigger took the time to actually really go in depth with these like triggers and find out more about triggers black triggers stuff like that so this overall little mini exposition arc that's been focusing on these triggers i've actually really enjoyed and i have to give props to toei animation for making the information really good like i perceived it really well so this episode now talking about the animation i want to dive into that first animation for the most part as always it's very lacking like the animation could be a lot better but hey it's toei animation and we know how they are so yeah standard animation so far from what we have seen from world Trigger. so it's the same old same old now overall though the episode when it comes to the terms of the pacing the pacing, like, explaining it, like, doing a quick summary of this episode. You have it to where Jin has the continuation of his fight. You have it to where his team beats the shit out of the opposing team. You have it to where we find out more about optional triggers. And then we get into the middle section with negotiations with Jin giving up his black trigger. And then we get into the ending part to where our characters choose what they want to do with their future roles in, you know, Border. So, that's pretty much the, like, quick overview of this episode. Now, to some, this might seem very slow, but I personally prefer this pacing over really quick and fast pacing like some anime I know of. You know what I'm talking about. So, this, th this episode I personally enjoyed from start to finish. So, getting into the details, I was quite shocked to see Osamu actually choose the gunner role. Like, I expected him to choose maybe like a scorpion or something like that. I did not expect to see him being a gunner. So, to see how he's going to be using a gunner when he has kind of a lack of Treon, I was kind of surprised because Osamu, as we have seen through the journey of the series so far, he doesn't have that big of a Treon level capacity. Like, he doesn't have a lot of Treon. And so, for him to be a gunner and, you know, want to do that, I wonder if he has any way to increase his Treon. Like, I wonder if Treon could be extend it or grow in some form or fashion. I wonder if that can actually happen in this series, because that's yet to actually be explained. And we have it to where Akuga actually chooses the Scorpion route, where he wants to have a fighting style like Jin. So, that's pretty cool. So, Jin is most likely going to have a very similar fighting style to Kuga, and I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, the future fighting styles of Jin and Kuga. Maybe we might see some form of mock battle between Jin and Kuga to demonstrate Jin's strength compared to Kuga's. So... Moving past that, like, the middle section of this episode is where the real beef of the episode is. Like, where the main importance lies in the episode. So, we get to see some characterization on Jin. Like, his character gets, once again, fleshed out a little bit more in this episode. And he gives up his black trigger to allow his little subordinate, you know, his little helper that joined Border, to actually be able to enroll in Border. For instance, Kuga, because as we know, the entire ordeal with this fight was because people wanted to steal his black trigger and they wanted to kill Kuga because he was a neighbor, and you see it to where Jin goes as far as to give up his black trigger to save his fellow underling or subordinate. So, to see that, you see some characterization of Jin and see how he truly is, and also with this episode, it is confirmed, it is 100% confirmed that Jin's black trigger was a memento from his, like, I guess his teacher. That's pretty much what we found out in this episode. So it's 100% confirmed now that the Black Trigger Fujin was actually from the mentor of Jin. So I wonder if Jin will ever get back his Black Trigger Fujin though, because if it's a memento of his, you know, fellow mentor, I wonder if he will get it back eventually down the road. So we'll have to see. 
And on top of that too, Jin states to the big boss in the chair, you know who I'm talking about, he says like, my side effect tells me that uh, Okuga will actually help you in the future. So, how far can the side effect of Jin really be like working? Like, I mean, how far in the future can Jin really see? That's something that has yet to be answered because we don't know necessarily how far insight or like where foresight uh, Jin has when it comes to seeing the future. So I wonder, I really do wonder how far he could see in the future. Like, is this years ahead, months ahead, days ahead? I mean, supposedly Kuga's going to be helping out the dude with his in-game goal. So we'll have to see. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, how'd you feel about this week's episode of World Trigger? I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi.